Hello everyone, Viat here and welcome back to Fibers and Fabrics Season 2. Today we are answering what is a fiber? And we're not talking about dietary fiber, we are talking about the fibers within textiles because that is what this series is all about. Hopefully today's episode will also answer some of your questions around pilling. Why do some fabrics pull and others don't? smallest visible part of any textile fiber. Fibers are also very flexible and therefore they can be spun into yarns that make up the fabric that we wear every single day. Fibers naturally occur in animals and in plants. More than half of the fibers produced are natural fibers. Examples of these fibers are cotton, linen, wool, any animal hairs, and silk. A fiber is a thread or filament from which a vegetable tissue, mineral substance, or textile is formed. Fibers are usually woven in something like this, where we have 90 degree angles going up and down and left to right. You can see this doesn't have any stretch to it. This is an example of a woven fabric. Or they are very often knitted and looks something like this very similar to what you can expect from a classic traditional t-shirt doesn't really have stretch but definitely a little bit more than any woven type of fabric as we can expect natural fibers are created by nature and they come in a standard form size and length synthetic fibers man-made fibers as well as semi-synthetic fibers which is also created by man is different because humans can decide the length of the fiber as well as the thickness and those are two of the very important elements when looking at fibers and the quality of fibers let me explain in a very simple example imagine braiding the hair of someone with very very short hair trying to create a braid with that is going to be extremely difficult and you won't go very far Small pieces of hairs will stick out on the sides and it's not going to form a smooth ponytail. But trying to create the same braid with someone with longer hair is going to be much easier. You're going to have a longer braid and most likely you will have less hairs sticking out on the sides of the braid. The exact same thing happens with fibers and that is why fiber length is so important. As you can imagine, the longer the fiber, the more easy it is to work with it. And the less little pieces you're going to have of fibers sticking out, which will also cause less pilling. That is why a lot of high quality synthetic fibers don't pull at all or not that often. But it's more commonly found in natural fibers such as animal hairs with wool cardigans and scarves where we have shorter fibers and therefore it can pull a lot easier. If you have pulling on your clothes you can use a fabric shaver. It's going to remove all of those small little balls that formed on the surface of your garment. Remember that continuous shaving of an item will remove more and more pieces of that fiber and fabric and therefore the fabric will definitely get thinner and thinner which can cause even breakage or it tends to see through in the area where you shave it. I prefer my fabric comb over a fabric shaver for anything that might pull. In season one of Fibers and Fabrics, I showed this cardigan with the little pom-poms um, on the little drawstring. And this is an example of a cashmere silk blend. I've had this for 14 years and it still looks impeccable. You can see up close, there is no pilling whatsoever. So you can definitely get natural fibers that don't pull at all. 
I've never used a shaver nor a comb on this and it looks beautiful. If you would like to buy a high quality natural fiber that doesn't pull, especially with fabrics that tend to pull, I would go onto the customer review section and maybe have a look at some of the reviews of that item. Also maybe have a look at some of the previous examples of something similar that they produced. Customers are quick to quickly go onto the website and say if they've experienced something going wrong. And if something does pull, I recommend staying away from it, especially if it's gonna happen extremely quickly because that is gonna impact the way it looks and the way you feel inside of that garment. Making the lifespan of that item much shorter and it then being a less sustainable purchase. Silk is a great example of a natural fiber being extremely long. Because the silkworm spins itself inside of the little cocoon, it's got one continuous long thread going all around the cocoon. Now the controversy comes in once you start saying silk is not vegan and creating a product with actual silk fibers, so with the silkworm cocoon, but it's still being vegan. That is something called peace silk. You can go watch the What is Silk episode for more details. Essentially, the moth is allowed to escape the cocoon and the cocoon is only then taken into processing of silk. But as you can imagine, while the moth is exiting the cocoon, it breaks through hundreds, even thousands of those small, tiny little fibers and breaking it over there creating lots of shorter silk fibers and that is not as optimal to work with with regards to creating silk. But I do think it is a great initiative to start something like pea silk where we have an option of the same type of textile but where the moth is allowed to exit the cocoon before the silk is used. I hope this answered the question of what is a fiber. If you have more questions or you want to share even more with myself, please do so in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care. Bye now.